welcome to another episode focusing on The Legend of Zelda for Wii U. However, in this episode, we're also going to look at what could be in store for a future 3DS title as well. For the first time in months, we were finally given a small hint at what to expect from a new Zelda game. In a recent interview with the Happy Mask Salesman, Yes, that's right, an interview with the Happy Mask Salesman. He stated we could be seeing his return, and that he had new masks to show off. So could this be a nod to the upcoming Zelda game for Wii U, or a reference to a future 3DS Zelda game? I hate bringing this up so many times, but Nintendo has said many times before that while working on different games in the Zelda series, one Zelda game will influence and share ideals with another. On top of this, Nintendo loves dropping subtle hints. Ayanuma also avoided the question of a Majora's Mask remake, but for almost no reason at all, we've seen a Majora's Mask reference within A Link Between Worlds. Now what do you know? Not too long after its release, Majora's Mask 3D was officially announced. So is it possible this is another subtle hint dropped by Nintendo to stir up hype? My two theories are as follow. 1. With Zelda for Wii U, we will see the possible return of the Happy Mask Salesman with a similar role to what we've seen in Ocarina of Time or Oracle of Ages. He may just have another shop set up in Hyrule to bring happiness to the world through masks. We go to him for a few side quests, and in return, we make a few rupees off of him for our work, and continue on with our adventure. One thing to note, since he is a traveling salesman, it would be nice to see him traveling across this huge land of Hyrule we are presented with, similar to how Beetle has returned over the years. We have seen him on boats and airships. It would be nice to see the mask salesman riding around on a horse and buggy as well. It would bring an emphasis on his title as a traveling salesman and add a great deal of importance to his character in the game. Have him show up in different locations, at different times, with unique and special masks. Again, we've seen this with Beetle and the Wind Waker and Skyward Sword. For my second theory, think back to Ocarina of Time 3D the first Zelda game developed by Grezzo. It had a few changes, but for the most part remained pretty faithful to the original title. Now Majora's Mask was recently released. I think Grezzo showed their skills with the success of Ocarina of Time 3D, and Nintendo allowed them to have a little more freedom with this title. So we've seen several changes within the new remake, and with the success of both games, I think it is possible they have proven themselves to Nintendo. So now Nintendo is allowing them to create yet another Zelda game, an original title, using the same engine from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, possibly adding a third title to the Hero of Time story. We've seen Link in Ocarina of Time as a child and as an adult. In Majora's Mask, he was only playable as a child. Maybe the next we'll see the return of an older Link, and create a Hero of Time trilogy, similar to The Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks. With Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask selling better than The Link Between Worlds, it makes sense Nintendo would want to create another game in the series, possibly reusing the same character models as well for Link's new adventure. And as we've seen with The Link Between Worlds and A Link to the Past, Nintendo is fond of reusing the same maps from one Zelda game and another. Even all of the rumors surrounding Zelda for Wii U, and how it is reusing maps from the original Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, and Twilight Princess, and what my good friend Commonwealth Realm is calling is Zelda Fusion, hints towards this. However, Link's new adventure could take place in yet another new world, a land entirely different from both Termina and Hyrule. We've seen this in Link's Awakening, and other games as well. With the Happy Mask Salesman's ability to travel between realms, his knowledge of magic, and addiction for new and powerful masks, maybe him and Link could stumble upon each other in a new land. I personally would love to see what Grizzo could do if given the chance to create a brand new Zelda game. Nintendo has been more lenient lately with their IPs as well. We all remember the horribly made Philips CDI games, 
and how it ruined partnerships with other game developers. But here recently, we have had some better third-party games. Capcom helped create the very well-done Oracle of Ages and Seasons games, one of which actually had an appearance by the Happy Mask salesman. Let's not forget all of the DLC from other developers, including Link as well, such as Sonic Lost Worlds, Bayonetta, and Monster Hunter, plus Hyrule Warriors. So I don't think it's too far out there to say Grizzle will be making a third Zelda game. And since all of the Zelda games on Nintendo 64 have already been remade, and the fact that GameCube and Wii games are probably more suitable for a Wii U remake, similar to the Wind Waker HD, I think we should be expecting Grezzo to have started work on a new Zelda game. I love the art style of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask a lot more than The Link Between Worlds. So I would love to see another game, reusing the same models I fell in love with over 15 years ago, but is built from the ground up. But I would also love to see the Happy Mask Salesman return in Zelda for Wii U. Who knows, we could possibly see both. Characters such as Tingle and Beetle have made appearances in both handheld and console games, so let me know how you want to see him return in future games. Also, if you're a fan of the Happy Mask Salesman like I am, be sure to check out this amazingly well done theory about Vortexy game. Alright guys, I just want to say thank you for watching and all of your support. I'm still pretty new at posting these news, theories, and rumor videos. In my future videos, I'm going to try to have separate series, one focusing on just facts and news, and another allowing me to speculate a little bit more and share some of my own theories. So I would love it if you would subscribe and stay tuned for more. You can check out my last video focusing on news for The Legend of Zelda for Wii U. You can click in the lower left corner to listen to my cover of the Clock Town theme from Majora's Map. If you're interested in other news and rumor videos, please check out my friend McIntyre Productions and Commonwealth Realm as well. They both create very high quality videos and Commonwealth Realm just released his review of Majora's Mask 3D. That goes a lot more in depth than other video reviews. So until next time, please subscribe and as always, thank you for watching.